You don't have far to you don't have far to run today, did you? Hey, I have a question for you. Did y'all see what happened with Brayden this morning? Her candlestick would not stay lit. But she didn't panic, did she? We lit it, and we lit it, and we lit it, and she got another one, didn't she? Now, if I say to her, when I said to her, I'm sorry that that happened, did I mean it? I'm really sorry that she had to go through that. But she rocked it, amen? Amen. Yes. Sometimes we say, I'm sorry, and we don't really mean it. Like when I ate your cake. And I said, I'm sorry I ate your cake. Hmm. I'm sorry, Avery, that I ate the biggest cupcake with the most amount of icing on the top and left you a corn muffin. (laughs) That wouldn't really mean I'm sorry, would it? Sometimes we have to say I'm sorry and we have to mean that we are sorry, right? We don't just say, hmm, sorry. Have you ever apologized that way by saying, hmm, sorry? No, good for you. The day will come when you do that and you will remember this moment of purity right here. Sometimes we say, I'm sorry, and we mean it, don't we? And today that story was about the young guy. He told his dad, I'm sorry. And his dad knew that he meant it. Okay, let us pray. Gracious God. We are sorry so many times, and you continue to shower us with grace and forgiveness, as we said this morning, again and again and again. Call us to repentance and to turn away from that so that we no longer eat each other's cake, but rather leave it for them as you have left life for us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. You ready? Get on your mark. Get set. Go.